Hi there, this is Marlena. Welcome to your Cosmic Connection Angel Card Reading for this day. What a beautiful angel showed up today. It's so light and feathery. And as I drew the cards for today, the first word out was joy. And I love the word joy, especially now that energy of joy is much needed in everybody's heart and life and even in your home and your environment. Make your environment more inviting to more joy and the energy lifting you up even around your space outside. Make it more joyous and colorful. Ah, this year we need that. So the angel coming through is jovial, which I feel is the angel of my joy. So I'm going to share that joy with you today. And fun things are coming because what cards came out today, the first one being joy and communication. So they are saying there is joy in communication. So express yourself in a way that is joyous and play with it. The next card was play. Play with new ways to communicate with others. Uh, especially now when we're not supposed to, you know, go near each other. So we're going to find new ways to communicate and they're going to bring joy to everyone. So when you do venture out, even wave at people in your car, okay? Wave at them and let them know, you know, somebody cares about you. We're not afraid of you, um, you know, and just find new you know, avenues to express the way you are feeling and what you are trying to communicate. So what have you been trying to communicate and you were having, you know, a difficult time with that? Um, let's work on that today. All right. How can you really express yourself in a new way where you're playing with energy? where you're enjoying that energy. So if it was something, you know, you were finding hard to say, um, find a new way to do it. Maybe, you know, capture that imagination that's inside of you and bring it forward in a new way, expressing yourself, maybe by using pictures, you know. Send somebody a card, okay, a nice beautiful card that's creative okay and why we are you know um, in this energy of you know not being able to go near anybody things like that and not really able to you know be free like we were and like we should be I was thinking um, to use this time to um, create things that you can gift to people, all right? Um, and if you got children, it's great to get out some glue, construction paper, you know, cut out shapes, making gifts, okay, for the different holidays or birthdays or even get prepared for, you know, December if you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah, things like that. Why don't we use this time now wisely? Instead of rushing and, um, you know, when that holiday time comes again, which it will, um, then we're all done. And we're not in that rushing mode. Uh, yeah, so let's start using some joy, communicating it in a new joyous way. Even when you got to go to the grocery store, there's going to be people, you know, um, that are not so joyous, all right? And that's understandable at this point. And you're going to see people that are, you know, complaining and grouchy and things like that. So we um, conscious beings can support them 
but not get into alignment with them. We can understand them, where they're coming from, because, you know, we can feel that energy around us. We can feel the fear. We can feel the tension. We can fear, um, you know, you can fear with them if you like to, or you can separate yourself from that energy and just observe it and say, you know, I choose to have peace and I choose to have joy and I choose to express this pent up energy, okay, and, and communicate it in a playful way, okay, and talk to people. Don't be afraid to communicate. That's the big thing right now. And trust in the purpose here, okay? Because the planets are, you know, really not, you know, friendly planets that are working right now, okay? So that's kind of what's playing out here, too. So don't buy into this big fear, okay? Separate yourself from it by being creative, all right? Using your time to make things with your hands, okay? And that gets you, you know, inspired. It lifts your energy up. It lifts your spirits. It helps your health as well. Um, and take responsibility for what you're doing, what your time is coming through. So be responsible with um, what, you know, you're allowing into your life. Right. So just remember where your energy goes, that energy will flow in. OK, so what you're bringing out or putting out or, you know, thinking about is going to come back. Right. Uh, what you're resonating with. Right. So try to uh, be creative with um, communication, um, creative being that you are. You can create something new, something inspirational, I'm feeling that, and, you know, uh, yeah, the angel is also saying, um, allow peace to be your blanket, and that, that sounds pretty, you know, if you can make blankets, maybe, um, yeah, that sounds nice, like, if you can make a peace blanket for people, you know, a physical blanket that's soft and feathery, just like the beautiful angel um, that I created with the mouse. Woo, I'm getting really creative here. Um, and then the big word for today is light. So in more ways than one, we want to bring in the light. All right, we want to get rid of the darkness, the fear, the sadness, and all that worry. And bring in the light. Also, we are the light. So we must be the light in other people's lives. And we know that we are, you know, always in a battle between dark and light. The light always wins, okay? We have been through many dark times, okay? Our ancestors went through many dark times. Um, and it seems like you know, when these similar planets are at play, these things happen. And you can, you know, search that out if you'd like to learn more about that. Um, but this year, 2020, is a year of control, you know, happening. We can see it. Um, and money. You know, it's all about power and control and the money. So it's a beast, all right? And the the beast is a certain energy that is negative, of course, and it's it's bringing destruction. That's what the beast wants to do is bring destruction, fear, terror, you know, anything like that. Okay? And I work with feng shui a lot too and I'm going deeper into it so I'll make a couple videos coming up about certain things about that um, I'm going to have two calls um, in a few days the 31st at 7 p.m. 
and then another one the next day, April Fool's Day, right? Um, we're going to play with some really happy energy. And that will be at 3 p.m. So underneath the video is where that will be posted so you can join me. Um, that's Eastern Standard Time. Um, and make sure you're there and bring some people you love because we're going to get cosmically connected to um, health, number one, and money and relationships. They are all one energy really so when one is out of place something you know else is out of place all right and we are going to disconnect from whatever you know vibration um that is causing that you know issue in your life and then we're going to get you plugged into the correct vibration for you as an individual also realizing that the more joy you allow into your life even when chaos is breaking loose all around you connect to your joy connect to your own you know energy your own empowerment all right that will get you through anything and keeping connected to your source okay in some people's case it's god some is source some is spirit some is you know guides angels whatever is you know yours whatever you connect with that's your thing okay so everybody who's viewing this video right now we are going to do a little clearing right now because I try to you know bring this all together I am you know a healer and wow I can be very intuitive at times and I can read into the energy and right now the vibration that's flowing from me is happy it's joy it's moving okay it's not willing to sit still all right um it's flowing so some of you might be watching this video for the first time and you know you're not sure about you know how to take it or whatever so we're going to clear your mind right now we're going to call in your angels to join me with jovial here and the happy healing joyful angel choir begin to sing into our spirits into our energy field begin to sing a joyous song yeah that's what i'm feeling right now a joyous song a song from the angel realm a song of joy a song of peace a song of light allowing that to go through your entire being right now connecting you into your state of being of joy a state of being of peace and calmness sending you calmness right now amidst the chaos amidst the storm disconnecting you from the chaos from the collective mindset of fear and chaos and worry and someone here is a light worker that's viewing this and I'm hearing a message for you it is to be more quiet as you will receive downloads coming for you receive that now that the downloads are coming for you and there's strength coming there's strength coming to keep you going never give up get your creative energy flowing okay what else can you create that has nothing to do with your energy work 
It has more to do with your environment. I'm hearing change your environment. That's a good um, message for you. So today is going to be a day where the angel Jovial has visited you, giving you inspiration. A shift is coming. A shift in your imagination. A shift in your energy. A shift in your life. Something is going to turn around. And this is a general reading. So it may not resonate with everyone at this moment. But it will. And you can come back and watch this video. Or view the other ones on this channel. But please join me on the calls that are coming up. Because you and I are going to be engaging in the most... Um, powerful energy on these calls and we must get connected back to God back to source during this time because we need the light we need to bring in more light and the light will only come from our source from our God okay and the angels always are here to comfort us, to guide us, to, to kind of try to move us forward, away from the past, away from the dark, okay, um, and give us that intuition. So always listen for your intuition, your guidance, and go with it. There's going to be, you know, a energy coming up to push us to get things done right now. So it's kind of coming in now and it's saying that paperwork over there, get it done, get it out, get it going, all right? Because what's coming up next is going to take our attention, all right? So let's be spontaneously moving towards joy. When you finish the paperwork, that's joy. It's done. Get it out in the mail, whatever you need to do, okay? Finish the project, all right? That's, you know, it's a good time right now because, you know, you really can't go out there running around like you were. All right, little runs here and there. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling that to finish the projects now. Allowing peace, creativity. Um, play with the communication. So, the words today were joy, communication, play. Okay. Um, trust in the purpose, uh, you know, responsibility, you know, um, peace, and light is a big word. So, we are being called back to the light. We're being called back to God's source, okay, during this time right now. And get educated, you know, get more educated on um, what's going on um, in the planets, all right? And I will come back with another video um, explaining a little bit more about the energy of 2020 and using some feng shui, all right? And that will also be on the call. I'll give a little bit of detail about that as we're going through and then take some live callers and help you out, all right? That's why I'm here. So, I thank you for joining me today. It's going to be a really remarkable energy today. And get out in the sun. Get out in the light. All right. Bring more light into your environment. I don't care if you're living in a tent or a trailer or a home or an apartment. Get out in the sun. Allow the sun to get on your neck, your back, your shoulders. Um, and bring in the light. Bring in that beautiful heat on your shoulders and your neck and back. Allowing the beautiful natural vitamins in. We need that. And sun, you know, in more ways than one, brings us joy. It brings us happiness. It makes us feel good. And that's what it's supposed to do. 
So bring more sunshine into your life. If you don't have sun, um, cut out a picture. Print out a picture of the sunshine and put it on a wall where you're going to see it. You know, allow that sunshine energy in to really vibe you up. So high vibes today. Blessings to you. And smile more, okay? That's a message for a couple people that are viewing this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.